then get no response. Amen. You should come expecting. Amen. Mm -hmm. This man or oh, had a situation that praised God that he had heard concerning about Jesus. Now, here, oh, amen, that we're going to go ahead and get right on in there, praise God, praise God, for time's sake. Thanks of God, I don't know about you, but when I read here or in this here text, and I'm going to go ahead on and begin in verse 15, where he said that they came to her, and they came to be healed. All right. When they came, amen, to Jesus, how many know that they came expecting to be healed? Amen. It's listening to me. Now, I always say it like this right here. They came to her how to be healed. Right. Saints of God, I don't know what you came for. But I don't know that, praise God, that this man, praise God, came to be healed. Yeah. He came with some expectancy. Right. Amen. That, praise God, for his condition. Saints of God, when you and I come into the house of God, mm -hmm. now you go ahead on and be honest with yourself. What you come expecting today. I keep telling people that praise God that ministry is not an entertainment. Right. It's listening to me. Oh, we say that Bernie Mac is dead. We ain't no entertainers that praise God, but we come here, praise God, and tell you and preach the whole counsel of God. It's listening to me today. Say to God, I'm here today to tell you that praise God, that when they left, wherever geographical location that they came from, they came with an expectation. It said in church, and, and how many know God's seed 
what were you thinking today? Is you listening to me? Our mind is not fasting upon the Lord. We in church texting. Praise God while the word is going on. We in church that probably in the church. I'm not talking about it. Facebook on them. You said that I'm talking about in the of the church. But it's time that you want to see your power. Yeah. <laughs> 
expecting, when she connected with Jesus, she was, she was expecting that praise God, and when she connected with the Damn. power of the new power of yeah. the Holy Ghost, yeah, yeah, yeah. how did you know that praise God, the blood, praise God, trod up, that blood trod up. He said, I'd better be a dope. 
we've been in the house of God. Yeah. See, if we don't be the front runner, we ain't coming in the house of God. I don't know that the door people are noticing. That's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 All those sinners come through them door, you need to be anointed. Yes. Get in here and get crazy. I'm going to lay hands on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you thought I was going to talk about a pistol. I'm going to be on their hands and catch it out. <laughs> it's this thing. It's still got like power in the chops. Yeah. 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 It's really something to what I'm saying. But what I'm trying to get us to see that when they came, they came with expectation. Yeah. Now I want you to go to the sixth chapter in the same book, Luke Gospel, in verse 17. Now watch this right here. The Bible says, out of the mouth of two or three readings, yeah. let everything be established. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, read verse 17 and verse 18. Did you see that? Man, man. Now, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, now, yeah. here it is, you have another audience. <coughs> Amen. They came to hear. Mm -hmm. So you got to hear first. Yeah. Before you become to be a doer. Yeah. Sometimes that people, well, I don't want to hear him. <laughs> I may have just what you need to so come. It's listening to what I'm saying. Amen. We want it fixed up with the person that we want it fixed up, but he might not be preaching at the level that they, that yeah, praise God, you yeah. need to eat it. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Glory to God. And so the Bible says, I mean, they came from all of the surrounding time. Yes, sir. They came to hell. Yeah. And they came to be healed. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Don't you see a pattern? You got to come in here. Yeah, yeah. People, you born that don't want nobody to tell you what to do. You come in the church, man, yeah. with an attitude. All right. Before you even get here. Right. Yeah. It's you listening to. Yeah. It's too many distractions. That's right. Amen. That the fun part that we got put it on everybody else. You come through the door with them distractions. Come on, come on. Glory to God. And then by the time somebody break through all the distraction, it's time to go home. My Lord. <laughs> you teach. My Lord. <laughs> the Bible said that the need of nothing but the steal. Yeah. Yeah. He's stealing what you need. Yeah. He's stealing the word. My God. He's stealing your fellowship. Oh God. He's stealing your praise. My He's stealing your joy. Yeah. You're walking around here mad with somebody, and that person ain't even thinking about you. <laughs> what they done to you, they done left you, and over there doing it to somebody else. <laughs> they ain't even thinking about you. <laughs> and here it is, 16 years later, you still <laughs> on yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Always tell people you want to let it roll off of like water on a duck's back. It's listening to Amen. Too many distractions. You come in the church, but you don't think that don't nobody see. That's what's wrong with you when you come in the church. Right, That's right. Somebody got a lie. Right. You see, Amen. there are some people in tune with God. Right. You may not think that they is. Right. Some people see the agenda that you have. Come on now. Come on here, talk to me oh. some more. Hallelujah. Good. But what I'm trying to get us to see, yeah. if we get serious about the Lord, yeah. and we, we are beginning to see a better result than it is in our yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I always watch Christians. Oh, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. Who <laughs> almost got a record? The devil, the devil, the devil. <laughs>
devil coming over, the devil tripping you, the devil doing this thing, the devil this, the devil this. You know what? Amen is you. You're free with it, amen. You're free with it. Right. Right. <laughs> the law association. Yeah. You become who you associate yourself with. Yeah. How you gonna do the devil's work and think that praise God that he ain't gonna mess with you? The Bible says they came to hear. Right. And they came to be healed. The last illustration. of scripture. It was in Acts chapter 14. Paul was preaching anointed of the gospel. This man was a lustrous. The Bible said he never walked. He never had walked. And why I wanted to say this man is it don't make no matter how long you not have a condition. God can change it. The Bible said this man never walked. He came in the world like that. But he would hear, but the Bible said he heard Paul preach. When you come through them trap, then come that stuff out of your ears and all of this stretching out of your life and come through these doors, ready to hear. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's right. Now think about this right here. This man heard that his situation can be turned around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Think about it. Never walked it. No. Never. But he heard something come on, come on. that changed his life. Made him believe that he could walk. Mm -hmm. The Bible said Paul perceived that he had feet to be here. Yes. Paul said, stand up! Glory to God. Yeah. You tell somebody stand up. Don't get hit with a priest yet, baby. <laughs> you ready to stand up? <laughs> it's listening to yeah, me. Yeah. The man got help. He stood up. Never walked. Mm -hmm. What is gospel at that's being preached? Come on now. Where is that praise God that we can start to believe in to this capacity and praise God yeah. that knowing that the gospel can